To get buyers to buy takes enormous energy. We have to come with insight and solutions which differentiate us in the marketplace vis-a-vis -vis our rivals. The seller has to dig in and keep digging for buyer needs to be relevant in the sales discussion. There are few shortcuts in this process and a lot of get up and go required. Do you have what it takes? Welcome back to this weekly edition every Monday of the Cutting Edge Japan Business Show. I'm your host, Dr. Greg Story, your corporate coaching and training guy, president of Dale Cunningham Training Japan and the best-selling author of Japan Sales Mastery and Japan Business Mastery. We are bringing the show to you today from our high performance center in Akasaka, the business center of Tokyo. Why the cutting edge? In this show, we are looking at the critical areas for success in business in Japan. We want to help everyone advance their thinking so that we can be at the forefront, at the cutting edge of how to flourish here in this market. Before we get into this week's topic, here is what caught my attention lately. The government has now recommended releasing treated radioactive water from the destroyed Fukushima number no. one nuclear plant into the sea, saying it would be preferable to releasing it into the atmosphere by boiling it. The complex is running out of storage space for radioactive water being constantly generated at a rate of 150 tonnes a day. This is needed to cool the radioactive rods which have fallen to the bottom of the plant containment chamber. So far, there is a million tons of water in the tanks, which have already been used for cooling purposes. The cleaning process does not remove tritium, and that will be released directly into the ocean environment. Local fishermen are strongly opposed to the idea of releasing the radioactive water into their fishing grounds. This is episode number 120, and we are talking about Get your hustle on. So let's get going. Smart people in sales are a problem. They have expansive brains, intellectual curiosity, and strategic depth. They are quick to spot the big picture solutions for clients. Internally, they are a system police, fantastic on urging the fixing of sales structures and suggesting necessary improvements. With Excel macro skills to burn, they can transform a simple spreadsheet information capture into a formidable machine. They are not what we need in the sales team. We need good hustle from our salespeople. Not hustle in the sense of tricking clients into arrangements to secure a big commission or a fat bonus. Good hustle is about focus on getting commitments from buyers to proceed that will benefit the buyer because it will improve their business. This is usually not about long-term massive interventions, but about the practical improvements that can be executed quickly that produce an immediate outcome. Getting the client to that point of agreement requires energy, lots of energy. That energy is needed to make the phone calls to follow up on leads which come through to the website from advertising, ad word campaigns, social media, outreach, etc. Also, contacting potential clients we have met at networking events, seeking referral clients and selecting prospective clients to be contacted through cold calling. This is not exciting work. It is less thrilling than working at the 30,000 foot level, overviewing vast swathes of client territory. What is needed is the exact opposite. Meet, propose, meet, follow up, meet, gain commitment, follow up, follow up, and further follow up. This is down and dirty in the trenches, just digging, digging, and more digging. Dull grunts 
in the sales army are not much help either. Clients need more consultative skills from salespeople than ever before. And that requires intelligence, analytical ability and clarity. Smart people have these attributes in full, but they tend to become bored with the grunt aspect of sales. Digging the trench is not as exciting as planning the complete reworking of the client's revenue producing systems. The reality though, is we need smart people who can hustle. They are motivated to serve the client and are equally motivated to sift through a lot of potential clients until they find a good match for the client need with their company's services. As you say in sales, you have to kiss a lot of toads before you find the handsome prince or the beautiful princess. Find out more when we come back from the break. The best seller, Japan Sales Mastery, is the new Bible of selling in Japan. To sell to Japanese buyers, you need to create long-term partner-level trust, fully understand Japanese buyers' real needs, convince buyers with your solutions, overcome their hesitation, fear and doubt, know how to ask for the order, ensure repeat orders. This book is the product of 30 plus years in the trenches, selling in Japan. Order Japan Sales Mastery now. Are you doing business with Japan? Do you really know how things work? Japan Business Mastery provides the answers. Do you have the right networks and know how to create them? Do you know how to get on the same wavelength with Japanese buyers? Do you know what being trustworthy looks like from the Japanese perspective? Japan Business Mastery is based on more than 30 years experience in Japan and will become your go-to guide. Want to succeed in Japan? Buy Japan Business Mastery now. Welcome back. Finding and developing motivated toad kisses is not that easy. Smart people love to work on complex problems. Companies have the same problems with their engineers. They have to give them a diet of complex problems to keep them mentally stimulated and engaged. Smart salespeople are the same. The issue though for leaders is that everyone is pretty busy already. Holding salespeople's hands is usually outside the sales leader's job description. Sales demands a huge amount of internal motivation and hustle energy. You cannot inject the latter into staff. They have to produce it in themselves. Dilettante as a descriptor has come to have a pejorative nuance to it, but it does describe a lot of smart people in sales. They are cultivating an area of interest in sales without the real commitment. The real commitment includes doing all the dull digging and toad kissing required to find and satisfy clients. They often feel that's boring and below them. They typically seek the big transaction, the killer deal that breaks all the records. They want to start at the top and work their way up from there. This is why they are a problem for leaders and why they can burn up a lot of management time. Keeping them on track away from shiny objects Glitter and bright lights takes up time, which could be better spent elsewhere. It is a dilemma, balancing the needs of smart people with the reality that unglamorous work is the core basis for sales success. If we get it wrong, we pay a double penalty. They don't produce fast enough, and when they leave in frustration, we have to start again and find their replacement. Time, money, and stress are all required, which in fact, are additional elements we shouldn't have to be bothered with. So, when selecting salespeople for the team, it is absolutely necessary that we find that right balance between big strategic thinking and good hustle, between macro and micro skill sets, and between textbook smart and street smarts. Action steps, one. Look for salespeople with a good dose of street smarts about them. Two, ask questions about sales back office systems 
and see if their eyes light up. Three, check what their work habits include, whether it's lots of unexciting grunt activity or something else. The Cutting Edge Japan Business Show is here to help you succeed in Japan. Subscribe on YouTube, share it with your family, friends and colleagues. Become a regular. Thank you for watching this episode and remember to hit the subscribe button. Our website details are on screen now, enjapan.dalecunny.com. It's awesome value, so check it out. Please leave me some feedback on YouTube. I would love to know how this show has helped and what other topics you are interested for me to cover. Remember, I am here as a free resource to help you. So just tell me how I can help you best. You might also enjoy my other weekly shows for podcasts, Mondays for the Cutting Edge Japan Business Show podcast, Tuesdays for the Presentations Japan series, Wednesdays for the Sales Japan series, Thursdays for the Leadership Japan series, and Fridays for the Japan Business Mastery show, wherever you get your podcast. Also on Fridays, I release my other TV show, the Japan Business Mastery show on YouTube. In episode 121, we're going to look at the hard and soft of presenting. We are going to be talking about that subject. Find out more about that next week. So, yoroshiku, onegai itashimasu. Please join me for the next episode of the Cutting Edge Japan Business Show. We are here to help you. We've only got one direction in mind for you and your business, and that is up. <laughs>